Okay, so we've taken a look at how we can put uh, values inside tables and how we can put other tables inside tables. Now let's take a look at how we can put functions inside tables. And this is one of the really powerful features of tables. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. The first way we're going to look at, there's two ways we're going to look at, but the first way is to create a function. So let's just create something simple. How about we'll call it show as dollars and we'll accept a value here of an amount and then we'll just basically have it as a dialog message box which will format our um, amount for display as currency. So basically we'll leave the title um, blank and we'll say how about attach a dollar sign. We'll concatenate the amount in there and then we'll put on a couple zeros. Very simple. Just for demonstration purposes. You can actually create as complex a function as you want, but we're just going to do this so that the focus is on inserting the function into the table and not the function itself. So let's create an empty table. Let's call it, how about currency? And then we'll create a slot in that table for the function. So we'll say, how about currency show um, equals show as dollars. Okay, here I'll insert a space in here just so it looks good. So we've created um, this slot show within the currency table for our function show as dollars. So now we can call it just by simply saying currency dot show and then plugging in a value. So let's go ahead and plug in a value. How about 165? And we'll go ahead and preview that. And as you can see, it it took the function and it acted upon that number. So we've got 165 with the dollar sign and the zeros added. Okay, so that's how easy it is to put a function into a table and call it. It's very, very simple. Let's take a look at the second way we can do this. And we can actually do it just by inserting the function as we create the table. So let's say we were creating the same table, so we'll call it currency. And we'll just set it up this way. Now inside here, we're going to go ahead and create our function. Let's call it show again. So show equals function. Now we've got to accept that value of the amount. And then we're going to set up our dialog message box. And of course, we've got to have our end value here. Actually, we don't need the semicolon in this case, uh, also inside here. So we'll go ahead and leave our title blank. And again, we'll just type in the same thing we did before, a dollar sign concatenate that to the amount and then again a period and two zeros. Okay, so we've got our function all set up and we're going to go ahead and call it again and we'll call it the same way we called the last one. We'll just say currency dot show and then plug in a value. In this case how about 350? Okay, we'll go ahead and preview that. As you can see here, our function worked perfectly and we've got our um, value, $350, uh, displayed as currency here. So that was a very simple function that we used to demonstrate this um, so that we wouldn't distract from the core issue, which is the two methods that we have to insert functions inside tables. So I hope that has been handy to you. I can tell you that this is a really uh, extremely advanced thing that can totally streamline your whole workflow because you can create s sets of functions basically that you can just store in text files and insert them into your projects as you need them. And actually what we'll do is we'll go on to the next lesson where we'll take a look at creating your own actions uh, using some of the techniques that we've done in this lesson.